Mukesh Ambani is one of India's wealthiest individuals. He's known for his tenacity in the boardroom, but it's obvious he also understands how to enjoy the rewards of his work. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will discover Mukesh Ambani's billionaire skyscraper residence. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. Antilia is a private house in Mumbai, India's billionaire's row. It is the home of Indian billionaire Mukesh Ambani and his family, who moved in in 2012. It is 27 stories tall, stands 178 meters tall, and spans over 37,000 square meters with amenities including three helipads, air traffic control, a 168 car garage, a ballroom, nine high-speed elevators, a 50-seat theater, terrace gardens, swimming pool, spa, health center, temple, and a snow room. Antilia was constructed on 1.120 acres of property that formerly held a WAC board run orphanage named Kurumboy Ebrahim Koja Yatim Kana, which had 60 orphans. Kurumboy Ebrahim, a rich ship owner, established the orphanage in 1895. The trust applied for authorization to sell the land in 2002, and the charity commissioner granted it three months later. In July 2002, the charity sold the property set aside for the education of impoverished Koja children to Antilia Business Private Limited, a Mukesh Bani controlled commercial company for RS 21.05 crore, 3 million US dollars. The land's current market worth was at least RS 150 crore, 21 million US dollars at the time. The transaction was in clear violation of Section 51 of the WACF Act, which states that any such land sale must be done with the Maharashtra State Board of WACF's approval. The WACF Minister Nawab Malik, as well as the Maharashtra Government's Tax Department, were against the property sale. As a result, the sale of the land was put on hold. Initially, the WACF Board was against the transaction and filed a PIL in the Supreme Court contesting the Trust's decision. While dismissing the case, the Supreme Court directed the WACF Board to appeal to the Bombay High Court. The WACF Board eventually dropped its opposition to the transaction, and the hold was lifted. The Maharashtra government was urged by the Union government in June 2011 to consider submitting the case to the Central Bureau of Investigation. Abdul Mateen launched a public interest litigation against the orphanage and the charity commissioners. The case was being considered by a special bench of the court as of 2018. Perkins plus Will, headquartered in Dallas, and Hirschbender Associates, based in Los Angeles, collaborated on Antilia's design. They were contacted when Nita Ambani was fascinated by the modern Asian interiors created by them at the Mandarin Oriental in New York. The building design was authorized by the Biran Mumbai Municipal Corporation in 2003, and work began in 2006 with Lighten Contractors, an Australian construction firm, and was finished by BE, Billamoria and Company Limited. As the building's construction proceeded, the architects changed floor plans and architectural ideas. There are 27 levels in the house, each with extra high ceilings. Other structures of comparable height may have up to 60 storeys. The house was also built to withstand an earthquake with a magnitude of 8. Some claim the Antilia is the world's highest single-family home, while others argue that it isn't, since it has room for 600 people. The lotus and the sun are used in the interior design. Crystals, marble and mother of pearl are used to replicate these two characteristics throughout the structure. The concept of the design is consistency, not repetition. Thus, no two levels utilize the same materials or layout. The structure contains three helipads, although none of them are active. The Director General of Civil Aviation, DGCA, must certify the helipads as airworthy, and the Central Defence and Environmental Ministries must provide their permission. The home was warmed up in November 2010, but Ambani did not move in right away because he was afraid of bad luck. In June 2011, over 50 famous pandits were called to the building to do pujas and resolve Vastu problems, following which the Ambanis moved in in September 2011. The site and unbuilt home were believed to be valued more than $1.2 billion prior to completion. The mansion was intended to be the world's biggest and most costly residence when it was planned, costing about $2 billion. It was the world's most expensive private home in 2014, according to Forbes. Did you know that on the 10th of July 2017, a fire broke out on the ninth level and was quickly put out? Within 10 minutes of receiving the call, six fire tenders arrived at the structure. However, Antilia personnel utilised a short line of fixed firefighting equipment and fire extinguishers to put out the fire before the fire department arrived. The fire was contained to the 4G antenna and the vertical garden's plastic frame. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments section below. 
that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.